These things are addicting, I tell ya. Another one, and another one, and another one. Hey Lola, shush! Oh, that's not gonna show up on my cheeks. Be pink peach coral. Welcome back to my channel. So before you say anything, I know I'm wearing the same exact outfit and makeup hair as I was in my Glam Glow mask video. So I apologize ahead of time, but I was so excited I could not wait to record this. <laughs> so today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite products of all time. I am a huge blush junkie. I own so many blushes, I, I can't even count it. I mean I can count, but I haven't counted. I'm kind of scared to count. But my favorite brand of blush are these Hourglass blushes. So these are the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blushes. These are a newer product to the cosmetic world. They came out this year sometime, I think. Maybe the end of 2013, beginning of 2014. But anyways, they're a fairly new product. And the great thing about these is this is a hybrid blush. So this, of course, is a blush that has the color in it, but in addition to that, it has the Hourglass Ambient powders kind of weaved into the blush itself. So these are great. These give you that lit from within, so lit from within look, I think is what they call it. I don't know. All I can say is these are amazing. They make your face just glow. They make your cheeks pop, they make your face glow, and they are perfect. So the very first one I bought was the Luminous Flush blush. So this was the first one that I picked up. Um, once I bought this one, oh, dogs are barking, sorry about that. Hey Lola, shush! <laughs> sorry about that. So the first one I picked up was the Luminous Flush blush. So once I picked this one up, I became addicted instantly and then I bought another one and another one and another one. I know, it's a little much, it's a little excessive, but I couldn't help myself. These things are addicting. I told about was the Luminous Flush. So this is what that one looks like. So this is just a pretty kind of rosy pink with, um, of course, the ambient lighting weaved within it. So the purpose for these blush or the unique thing about these blushes is it's a blush, so it has your blush, standard blush colors. But in addition to that, it has the ambient lighting powder weaved within the blush. So when you mix it all together, it becomes this just beautiful, um, glowy, dusty blush. So of the four that I have, this one is probably my least favorite. Not to say that it isn't great by any means, I just don't wear this one as much as some of the others. So this is what that blush looks like. So you can see it has the tan ambient lighting. Uh, kind of weaved throughout the blush itself and then it has this dusty pink color there. So this one gives you a great dusty pink colored cheek if you like dusty pink. I do like dusty pink colors which is why I'm surprised I don't wear this one more often. Maybe I'll venture in to wear this one more often. But here's what the swatch of that looks like. So the next one I had bought after Luminous Light is the dim infusion. So this is the one that I wear probably the most often. This one is a peach color. So if you like peach colored blushes, go and get this one. Um, so this one has the peach color weaved in with the ambient lighting color. Um, here's what this one looks like up close. Alright, so there you can see it's this beautiful bright peachy coral color mixed in with the ambient lighting. So when you swirl these together this one looks very light. When you first look at this, you're probably like, oh, that's not going to show up on my cheeks. But it does, I promise you, and it looks beautiful. So when you swatch it, it looks like that. So you can probably barely see it. So there's the swatch up close. Here's the luminous flush. Here's the dim light. This one looks so pretty. If you're fair toned, even if you're medium toned or medium skin toned, this one is so, so, so pretty. You'll be surprised how well it shows up on your cheeks. I've worn this several times. I'm actually surprised I have not hit pan on this. I've worn it so much. So the next one I have is Mood Exposure. So this one, when the blushes first came out, I saw this one and I was like, ah, I would never wear that one. That looks kind of weird. Um, but then I heard somebody talking about it and they said that it reminded them of um, Tarte's 
what is it called? Tarte's uh, Exposed. I love Tarte's Exposed. That's probably my favorite blush of all time. So when I heard that, I was like, well, I gotta pick this one up now. So this one is more of a plum color. So this has like a, a plum beige mauve color in it mixed with the ambient lighting color. So this one, when you swirl it together, it comes off as kind of like this beigey, uh, kind of nude color. So here's what it looks like up close. So there's the mood exposure right there. So if you're a huge fan of Tarte's Exposed, or if you like, um, Dallas by Benefit, you'll love this one. This is a really good color to wear when you're doing really heavy eyes or really heavy lips, kind of like what I have on today. If you're doing one or the other or you just want like a natural blush color, this one is perfect. It's great for everyday wear. Um, this is probably my second most worn of the four. I love this. So the last one is Diffused Heat. This one was sold out online for months and months and months. It wasn't in stores. You couldn't find it anywhere. It was like finding a diamond in a rough to find this. Um, I actually had set an alert on Sephora.com that said, alert me when this blush comes in stock. And it sent it to my email when it did after like two months of being on the waiting list or whatever. I got the email. Immediately I went onto Sephora.com and ordered it. And I'm so glad I did because I refreshed the page like five minutes later, sold out again. That's how quickly this thing sold out. Now I think it doesn't have as much hype around it and you probably can find it in the stores um, and online if you wanted to. But this one is like a poppy, poppy pink, poppy pink peach coral color. It's much darker than the dim infusion. Is that what it's called? Yeah, it's much darker than the Dim Infusion, uh, but this one is a really, really pretty color. It's perfect for summertime, in fact. All right, so that's what the blush looks like up close. You can see it's this beautiful, like, poppy pink color. And when you swatch it, it just comes off this kind of beautiful, like, Barbie pink color. So there is that color right here. Oh, it's Diffused Heat, by the way. I didn't, I don't know if I said what color it was. It's Diffused Heat. <laughs> So here's what it looks like. So that's diffused heat, that's luminous flush, that's dim infusion, and that's mood exposure. That one is Tarte's Exposed. So those are the three colors. You can see them all next to each other. You can see that diffused heat is like a bright poppy pink color. Luminous flush is like a dusty rose color. Dim infusion is that peach color. And then mood exposure is like the beige natural color. I wear these religiously almost every single day. All of them are beautiful. I have very fair skin as you can see and I wear all of these. They all look great on me. I do have friends that are much darker in tone um, and they have some of these and they all look great on everybody. I'm telling you. The other two that I don't have, one of them is a very light baby pink color. I didn't get that one because I was actually afraid that it might be too light and that it wouldn't show up on my skin, so I haven't tried that one yet. And then the last one is a magenta color. Um, that one looked very similar to the Luminous Flush, which is why I didn't buy it, because you could hardly tell the two apart. Um, overall, these are so, so, so gorgeous. They don't really have sparkle or glitter in them. They're not matte either. They just have this beautiful, like, lit from within sheen. When you wear them, you don't even need a highlighter just because they highlight within themselves. They are so pretty. It's so hard to explain unless you go and swatch them. Next time you're at Sephora or in the area of Sephora, just go and swatch these beautiful things. You will not be disappointed, I promise. They are so pretty. They are a little bit on the pricey side. I think they're $35 each. So maybe pick up just one or two, um, but you will not be disappointed, I promise. These are so, so, so pretty. Alright guys, well that's all that I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you next time. Bye guys!